So I'm off on a huge adventure and I can't wait. As you can probably tell from the name of this vlog, I'm off to Kenya. Uh, the Kenya experience from the running trips invited me over to one of their camps to experience running at altitude, running at Iten, the home of champions, learning from the Kenyans. And I can't wait, it's just gonna be incredible. It's been on my bucket list since I started running to go over to Iten and experience the Kenyan culture of running and I never really thought I was going to be able to do it but it's become reality. Yeah, I can't wait to get there and share it all with you. So this morning's been a little bit stressful with all the Covid PCR tests and all the hoops you have to jump through um, but it's going to be worth it, uh, definitely worth it to go out to Kenya and train hard and learn as much as I can and see what the Kenyan culture is really like. First step of the journey done, I've arrived in Dublin. So the first stop on the way to Kenya is Ireland. So quick stop in Dublin before my next flight. Thought I'd quickly grab a Guinness. Not much of a day drinker, but when in Ireland. So we've made it to the next destination, Doha in Qatar. Um, just a quick transfer here. And then we're flying straight to Nairobi. So we've had our first Elliot van. The guy at security was from Kenya, so he recognized the top straight away, which was cool. So I've arrived in Kenya, I've picked up my bag, and I've got a bit of a wait until I fly to Eldoret. 10. Um, but the first thing I've done, which I was advised to do, is pick up a Kenyan SIM card with loads of data so I could still be <laughs> um, on social media and emails and WhatsApp and everything else. So that's done. That was pretty easy actually. You do have to show your ID when, the, when you set it up, but it didn't cost much. Got loads of data, so hopefully that'll last me the trip. Um, it's really warm. It's only like nine o'clock in the morning. I've got a hell of a wait and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, see how this data uh, holds up or if there's Wi-Fi somewhere. And I'll get on with some work, I guess, but I think my flight's been delayed as well, which is a bit of a pain, but we're nearly there. So I'm at Nairobi airport in the terminal, ready to fly to Eldoret, and I have just made a rookie mistake. So I've been here for about an hour, uh, just been on my phone, and then I decided to go and look for a coffee I was walking along and a guy toward, walking towards me was holding a MacBook with stickers on. I was like, oh, those stickers look familiar. Obviously, I didn't even realise I'd lost my MacBook. I'd left it in security. And this guy was wandering around going, Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> um, he opened it up and realised that it said, like, welcome, Matthew, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that would have been a total and utter disaster. What am I doing? Losing my MacBook in the airport. This is not the first time I've done something like this. Need to screw my head on. I think it's the lack of sleep. Um, so, as you know, it's really difficult to sleep on planes. There's a lot going on. It's not very dark. And they're bringing food around. It's a bit random. Like, I'm getting dinner. I had a dinner on my first flight, and then I had dinner on the second flight at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Didn't really want a second dinner, but I always, I always eat, and I never turn down food. So, there we go. But yeah, 
crisis averted, even though I didn't realize there was a crisis. I've got my MacBook and I've got a few hours to kill because my flight's been delayed by two hours. It's annoying because I would have got there to join in with some drills, which would have been really cool. Um, but never mind, all the fun can start for me tomorrow on, I think it's Thursday Fartlek tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to going to that. So this trip, I'm actually only here for about a week, which is frustrating, I'd love to train here for longer. Um, so I'm not expecting to get massively fitter in that week, but what I am going to try and do is learn as much as I can, observe, ask questions, and try and saturate myself in the running culture here. Um, I've heard so much about running in Kenya, but it would just be amazing to come out here and experience it for myself and see what I can pick up to help my running, help my coaching, and just enjoy it as well. So, yeah, still waiting for my flight. Going to try and not go into this trip with any preconceptions of what training here is like. Um, I'd rather just take it all in and see for myself. One thing I should say, first impressions of Kenya, other people are so friendly, just really helpful, friendly people. So yeah, always a good start. Um, but yeah, I haven't really got any other impressions because I spent it all in the airport. But really looking forward to getting to Iten now and uh, getting running. Um, everyone's warned me about how difficult altitude is initially. I haven't got much time to adapt. Um, people say ignore the paces you would be running and just try and go off heart rate or just try and go off feel uh, which is what I would do anyway so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see how well I adapt if I even adapt um, to training at altitude let's go final fight I had to find the guy that I'm meeting. Hope he's here. Hiya. Hiya. And I am here. It 10, the home of champions, altitude, thin air. Um, I'm staying at the high altitude training camp. I'll give you the tour later, um, but this is really exciting and I can't wait to get stuck in. It's too late to go for a run now. We're gonna have dinner in a bit, but tomorrow is gonna be a lot of fun. So that's the training camp, just left the training camp and you come out of there and straight away it's the famous It 10 sign. I'll show you that now. And I've arrived, Iten, the home of champions, finally. Um, I'm staying at the high altitude training camp with the Kenya experience. Apparently this is the same room that Mo Farah's used previously. Doesn't make a difference because they're all the same, but maybe you'll be lucky. Can't wait to go for a run, but that'll have to wait for tomorrow now. And yeah, I'm gonna have dinner soon, meet some people, talk some running, and I'll give you the tour later maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> 